share with us this morning ujumbe ambao nataka kushiriki nasi asubuhi ya leo is about ni kuhusu walking kutembea in the spirit katika roho of honor ya heshima walking in the spirit of honor kutembelea katika roho ya heshima kindly listen carefully tafadhali sikiza kwa makini because this message maana huu ujumbe is going to help you nataka kukusaidia to overcome especially areas kwaweza kushinda sana sana you have been trying umekuwa ukijaribu but you realize you are just mark timing lakini unagundua umekwama tu walking kutembea in the spirit katika roho of honor ya heshima first samuel samueli wa kwanza chapter 2 and verse 30 mbili uh, mstari wa 30 for clarity i'm using e n e t anatumia hiyo tafsiri maybe you can put it there n e t n e t for clarity kwa kuwa the bible says bila nasema therefore the lord kwa hivyo bwana the god of israel mungu wa israeli says asema i read it in, i i read it did say that your house and your ancestors house would serve me forever. Sikusema nyumba yenu ama nyumba ya uzao wako itanitokea milele. Nilisema. I really did say that your house and your ancestors house would serve me forever. Ni kweli nilisema kuwa nyumba yenu na nyumba ya wazazi wenu itanitumikia milele. But now the Lord says. Lakini sasa Bwana asema. May it never be. Wacha isifanyike. For I will honor those who honor me. Maana nitaheshimu ambao wananiheshimu. But those who despise me, na ambao wananidharau, will be cast. Watalaaniwa. 1 Peter 2:17. Petro wa kwanza 2:17. I've also chosen another version for clarity purpose. Tumia tafsiri nyingine ili niweze kueleza wazi wazi. ESV. Tafsiri ya ESV. Honor everyone. Heshimu kila mtu. Love the brotherhood. Penda neni kama ndugu fear god muumche mungu on the king or emperor ah heshimu falme ama kiongozi last week but one jumapili ile ingine imepita i was speaking in a conference nilikuwa nenda katika kongamano and god led me in a different way because i was speaking it was a, a national meeting ilikuwa uh, mkutano wa kimataifa so mko kanaongoza nikanena kwa therefore kwa i spoke on how people are supposed to restore honor nikanena vile mu, mu, watu wanapaswa kurejesha heshima but even as i was praying god hata nilipokuwa naomba mungu seeking his ways nikitafuta njia zake he spoke to me alininenea and he told me na akaniambia not only at national level sio katika kiwango cha kimataifa but even as a church lakini hata kanisa we are supposed to walk in the ways in the pathways of honor napaswa kutembea katika njia za heshima may the lord bless his word mungu abariki kusoma today i just want to teach leo tunataka kufunza let's appreciate the worship team sasa kurisha sifa Honor heshima is a quality ni ile uh, namna of knowing ya kuweza kujua and doing na kutenda praise the name of the living god amen is a quality of knowing and doing ni namna ya kujua na pia kutenda what is right kile ambacho ni kizuri for you to honor someone ili uweze kumheshimu mtu for you to do what to practice honor ili uweze kufanyia heshima kazi you must have honor in you lazima ukuwe na heshima ndani yako it is part of you ni sehemu yako it is part of your value ni sehemu ya zile mambo yako ambayo unadhamini honor is to reverence heshima ni ile kukutia ama kuheshimu is to value or show respect ni kudhamini na kuonyesha heshima to god kwa mungu and even to man na pia kwa mtu The scripture that we have read maandiko ambao tumesoma is talking about Eli. Inanena kuhusu Eli. God had spoken to the house of Eli. Uh, Mungu alikuwa amezungumzia nyumba ya Eli and he said na akasema you will rule yani uh, yani you will take the responsibility 
mtachukua majukumu of priesthood ya kuwa kuhani hallelujah amen Your generations and generation vizazi vyako na vizazi vyako will serve me as priest forever. Watanitumikia kama kuhani milele. But in this verse, lakini kwa ile andiko, God is revoking what he said. Mungu anapindua kile ambacho alisema. Why is he doing so? Mbona anafanya hivyo? He is doing so anafanya vile because Eli, maana Eli dishonored God. Alikosa kumheshimu Mungu. He valued his sons alidhamini wana wake more than God. Zaidi ya Mungu. They messed in the house of God. Walitenda mabaya katika nyumba ya Mungu. They did what was wrong in the house of God. Walifanya kile kibaya katika nyumba ya Mungu. And Eli did not you know he did not warn them. Na Eli akuwakanya. And therefore God came up with a harsh judgment. Na kwa hivyo Mungu akakuja na hukumu ambayo ni kali sana. That I have revoked. Kwa nimegeuza what I had said before. Kile nilikuwa nimesema hapo mwanzo. Church we have to be very careful. Kanisa lazima tuwe makini because God has blessed us. Maana Mungu ametubariki. God has said that we are blessed children of God. Mungu amesema sisi ni wana wa Mungu ambao wamebarikiwa. But there are things that can be revoked if we go in the ways of dishonor. Like kuna mambo yanazogeuzwa tukienda njia ya kutokuwa na heshima. Hallelujah. Amen. For us to succeed in life and ministry. Ili tuweze kufaulu katika huduma na maisha and also accomplish God given dreams. Na tutimize ile ndoto ambayo Mungu ametupatia. And also by the grace of God. Na pia kwa neema ya Mungu. Drive in an open heaven. Tungae katika bingu ambazo zimefunguka. We must walk in honor. Lazima tutembee katika heshima. We must walk in honor. Lazima tutembee katika heshima. I'm saying we must walk in honor. Nasema lazima tutembee katika heshima. In the name of the living God. Amen. You know today unajua leo many people are praying watu wengi wanaomba they are fasting wanafunga they go from one servant of god to another servant of god wana kutoka mtumishi mmoja wa mungu kwenda kwa mwingine they are laid hands on wanaekelewa mikono they are serving god so faithfully watumikia mungu kwa uaminifu sana but they struggle lakini wanangangana they make time in life wanakwama maishani They don't realize their dreams. Awagudui ndoto zao. But some one of the reasons. Lakini moja ya jawabu ama sababu. Why people don't realize their dreams. Mbona watu awagudui ndoto zao. And they struggle in life. Na wanakuwa na shida maishani. Is because of the spirit of dishonor. Ni sababu ya roho ya kutokuwa na heshima. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They are not walking in the pathways of They walk in the pathways of dishonor. Watembea katika njia za kutokuwa na heshima. And therefore they walk under closed heaven. Kwa hivyo watembea katika bingu ambazo zimefungwa. And therefore this morning, kwa asubuhi ya leo, I want to share with us. Nataka kushiriki nasi. Four things. Mambo manne that will help us. Ambayo itatusaidia walk in the pathways of honor. Kutembea katika njia za heshima. Number one, Ya kwanza, I'm going to talk about the danger of dishonor. Naenda kuongea kuhusu hatari ya kutokuwa na heshima. Number two, I'll speak about the importance of honor. Ya pili pia ndana kuhusu umuhimu wa heshima. Then I'll talk about who to honor. Na kipia ndiye nitazungumzia kuhusu nani wa kuheshimiwa. And also how to honor. Na pia jinsi ya kuheshimu. Then you will have a choice. Alafu utakuwa na uamuzi. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. The dangers of dishonor. Hatari za kutokuwa na heshima. Did you know that you can live under closed heaven? Je, unajua unaweza kuwa mnaishi katika bingu zimefungwa? You're not experiencing miracles. Au patani na miujiza. You used to thrive in life. Ulikuwa unang'aa na maisha. But all of a sudden you realize everything is closed. Na hii kabla unagudua kila kitu kimefungwa. And you wonder what is happening. Unashangaa nini inafanyika? Hallelujah. Amen. What normally happens? Kile ambacho hufanyika is because dishonor ni sababu kutokuwa na heshima hinders the anointing of god inazuia upako wa mungu or it hinders the flow of the anointing of god inazuia mtiriko wa upako wa mungu and the flow of god na mtiriko wa mungu in someone's life katika maisha ya mtu i repeat it again narudia tena this honor kutokuwa na heshima hinders the flow of the anointing inazuia kutiririka kwa upako and the move of god na utembeo wa mungu in someone's life katika maisha ya mtu we are going to see just an example nenda kuona mfano 
Jesus Christ Yesu Kristo performed miracles Alitenda miujiza He did great miracles Alifanya miujiza mikuu He delivered the sick Alikomboa wagonjwa Hallelujah Amen He raised the people from the dead Alifufua wafu He healed the sick Aliponya wagonjwa In one instant the Bible says Mali pamoja na Biblia inasema that when he went They, they had about 5000 people alikuwa na watu kama 1500 and he spoke to the father na akanenea akamwambia baba and what they had was multiplied kile walikuwa nacho kikazidishwa in other word he was a very powerful people, Ko, man of god kwa mengine alikuwa mtu wa nguvu sana kwa anointed amepakwa mafuta preach with the power akihubiri kwa nguvu read hands on people akiekelea tu mikono instantly they were healed wanaponywa ghafla but the bible tells me bila niambia that happened outside nazareth hii ilifanyika nje ya Nazareth his whole hometown mali alikuwa amezaliwa but when we went back to his hometown aliporudi mali pake pa kuzaliwa let us see what happened wa tuone kile kilifanyika and this is normally what happens ndio huo inafanyika people get used watu wanakizoea when they come to church wakikuja kanisani when i preach here nikihubiri hapa you can get used with me unaweza kuwa unaweza kunizoea you can get used with another person who is preaching here unazoea mtu mwingine ambaye anahubiri hapa but i want to tell us nataka kuambia and to warn us na kuwapea hata let us not get get used tuziwe watu wa kuzoea let's get to know wacha tuweze kujua when someone stands here mtu akisimama hapa he or she by the grace of god yeye kwa neema ya mungu is giving the message that god has given anapenda ujumbe ambao mungu amepeana praise the name of the living god amen hallelujah amen so when he went to the hometown aliponda katika mahali pa kuzaliwa pake people blocked the move of god watu walizuia utembeo wa mungu because of dishonoring jesus kwa sababu ya kutukosa kuheshimu yesu matthew 13 and verse 54 madhayo 13 mstari wa 54 we can start from 55 nazanzia mstari wa 55 matthew madhayo 13:50 uh, that is a 50 week okay 55 na 13 mstari wa 55 The Bible says 54. Bila sema mstari wa 54. Coming to his hometown. Na alipofika nchi yake after preaching the gospel from other places. Bana kubiri njini mali pengine. After healing people. Bana kuponya watu. Of doing great miracles. Na fanya miujiza mikuu. The Bible says. Bila sema he began teaching the people in their synagogues. Akaanza kuwafundisha watu sinagogi. And they were all amazed. Na wote wakashangaa. And they asked this question. Na wakauliza hili swali. Where did this man get this wisdom? Huyu mtu amepata hekima hii wapi? And this and this miraculous powers. Na hii nguvu ya miujiza hii. They is asked. Wakajiuliza. Look at verse 55. Angalia 55. Isn't this the carpenter's son? Je, huyu si mwana wa Seremala? Ha? Huh? Mm. Si huyu ni mwana wa Joseph? Mm. Kwanza hakusema Joseph walisema mwana wa ule fundi wa mbao kwa hivyo hakusema hata yani walikuwa na madharao mpaka hawezi kusema ni mwana wa Joseph walisema huyu ni ule mwana wa fundi ule wa mbao ile madharao ya juu kabisa reason oh my god amen isn't his mother's name mary je mama yake si yule anaitwa mary And at his brothers James, Joseph, Simon and Judas. Na nduguze ni Yakobo, Yusufu, Simoni na Yuda. And all his sisters with us. Na mabinti ma wasista yake watu wako nasi wote. When where did where then did this man get all these things? Je, huyu mtu alitoa hii mambo yote wapi? And they took offense. Na wakakasirika. In other word, they dishonored Jesus. Kama wengine wakakosa kumheshimu. They were not yes. ready to take. Hawakuwa tayari kuchukua. I want to tell us church. Nataka kuambia kanisa. When you come to church, ukuja kanisani or when I stand here or someone else. Ama nakisimama hapa mtu mwingine. And you conclude in your heart. Na unamalizia moyoni mwako. Already you know what I want to say. Unajua kile nataka kusema. You are blocking your message. Umezuia ujumbe wako. You are blocking your miracle. Unazuia miujiza yako. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So when we come to church we must come with an open heart lazima tuje na moyo uko wazi praise the name of the living god amen i know it is very very key najua ni ya muhimu sana to be like bereans kuwa kama wa bereans hallelujah amen go home And then ask yourself Ujulize. what we were taught today Kile is it right Je, is it according to the word of god Je, But na I have mungu. an open heart to receive from god as mungu. long as your discerning is from god kama utambuzi wako kutoka kwa mungu let's appreciate the lord of lord amen 
But Jesus said to them, Yesu Kristo akamwambia, A prophet is not with honor except in his own own town. Nabii ana heshima isipokuwa kwake nyumbani. And his own home. Na kwake nyumbani. Listen 58 is dangerous. Sikiza 58 ni hatari. It is says. Inasema. And he did not do many miracles. Wala hakufanya miujiza mingi. Because there there because of their lack of faith. Hapo kwa sababu hawakuwa na imani. So from this text, kutoka ile andiko, we can see there is what we call familiarity from this text we can see that familiarity breeds dishonor. Unaona hapo tunaona kuzoeana inaleta kutokuwa na heshima. Familiarity breeds dishonor. Kuzoeana inafanya mtu akose heshima. They dishonor Jesus Christ. Walikosa kuheshimu Yesu Kristo. Because these people embrace the spirit of dishonor. Maana hao watu walipokea roho ya kutokuwa na heshima. Because they lived together. Maana waliishi pamoja. Let me tell you. Tena niambie. If you even if you are the one who is serving your pastor hata kama ni wewe unatumkia mchungaji wako even if you sit with him and walk with him hata kama unaket na yeye unatembea kila siku even if you are of the same age hata kama mko miaka inatoshana probably he is less of a age you know he ako na miaka midogo kuliko wewe or probably he ni mkubwa praise the name of the living god amen the facts remain ukweli inabaki as long as he's a servant of god bora wa mtumishi wa mungu and i'm not saying only the pastor sisemi kwa mchungaji tu even the leaders in this place hata viongozi mara hapa like we have the worship leader minister mwiti minister mwiti if he tells you something akikwambia kitu and you dishonor na ukoza kuheshimu you are dishonoring you are dishonoring god unakoza kuheshimu mungu praise the name of the living god amen hallelujah amen. Amen. So they blocked their miracles. Walizuia miujiza yao. Jesus prayed. Yesu akaomba. You know this is the scenario. Hii ni uh, mambo halisi. They came. Walikuja. Others refused. Wengine wakakataa. And watched from afar. Wakaangalia kwa mbali. Are we together? Kwa pamoja. Hallelujah. Amen. They started praying. Wakaanza kuomba. Jesus started rebuking the devil. Yesu akaanza kukemea. The shetani. devil could not go. Shetani angeenda. Because no matter how the anointed servant of God. Maana haijalishi vile amepakwa mafuta mtumishi wa Mungu. You cannot receive from a servant you dishonor. Awezi pokea kutoka kwa mtumishi ambaye hauheshimu. I repeat it again. Narudia tena. You may come here. Unaweza kuja hapa. And you have a need. Na ukona hitaji. And you want to be prayed for. Nataka kuombewa. I'll lay your hands. Nitakuwekelea mikono. But you will not receive. Lakini hautapokea. Because you cannot receive. Maana hauwezi pokea. From a servant. Kutoka kwa mtumishi. That you dishonor. Ambaye aweshi. No matter how that servant of God is anointed. Haijalishi vile mtumishi wa Mungu amepaka mafuta. This is Jesus. Uni Yesu, the son of the living God. Mwana Mungu aishi. He is anointed. Amepakwa mafuta. Wherever he went. Mali alipoenda. Miracles happened. Miujiza ilifanyika. But when he came to his home town. Alipokuja kwake nyumbani. Everything came to a stand still. Kila kitu lisimama. Except from a few people. Ila watu wachache. Who honored him. Ambao walimheshimu. And miracles happened. Na miujiza ikafanyika. May it never happen in your life. Waje isifanyike maishani mwako. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. A church. Kanisa. We are living at a time. Naishi katika nyakati. When the church is dishonoring god wakati kanisa inakosa kumheshimu mungu this we must stop in the name of jesus ila lazima yache katika jina la yesu hallelujah amen do you know je unajua you may be under a very anointed servant of god unaweza kuwa chini ya upako mkuu mtumishi wa mungu amepakwa sana and not experience miracles na usipatane na miujiza are we together tuko pamoja look at elisha Angalia Elisha. Elisha, Elisha washed Elijah's hands. Aliosha mikono ya Elia. He carried his bag. Alibeba mfuko wake. Faithfully. Kwa uaminifu. From his heart. Toka moyo wake. And because it was from heart. Mali toka kutoka moyo. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. He did it wholeheartedly. Alifanya kwa moyo wake wote. And when the time came, wakati ulipofika, he received a double portion. Alipokea nguvu marandufu. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Gehazi was also a servant. Gehazi pia alikuwa mtumishi. Yet they walked with Elisha. Walitembea na Elisha, but he never received a miracle. Lakini akupokea miujiza. My prayer is, ombi langu ni, as you serve, unapotumika, serve faithfully. Tumika kwa uaminifu. Knowing what you are doing, ukijua kile unafanya, it is to the glory of God. Ni kwa utukufu wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. So there are blessings kuna baraka you will enjoy ambao utafurahia praise the name of the living god amen because you are practicing uh, honor ma unafanyia heshima kazi hallelujah amen hallelujah amen so no matter how blessed you are 
No matter your title. No matter your society you are coming from. No matter the authority that you have. Don't have the spirit of dishonor. Hallelujah. Amen. When people dishonored Jesus, they hindered the miracles of God. As I said earlier, the spirit of familiarity has come to the church of Jesus Christ. And may the Lord forgive us. And if you have that spirit, may you tell God to forgive you today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying, Nasema, Some are living under close to heaven watu because bifungo. of that spirit. Roho. Don't fimal, fa, be familiar mtu with your leaders because the grace you dishonor eh, eh, cannot bless you. Dishonor hinders progress. Na we are still in the dangers of honor, dishonor. Dishonor hinders progress. We are going to see another uh, example of someone who dishonored someone and the results of that dishonor. Numbers 12 and verse 1. Listen at this. Sikiza hii. And listen carefully. Na usikize vizuri. Miriam and Anne, uh, uh, Miriam and Aaron. Miriam na Aruni began to talk against Moses. Wakaanza kumnenea kinyume ya Musa. Because of his Cushite wife. Sababu ya mwanamke wake mkushi. For he had married a youth, uh, uh, an Ethiopian or Cushite. Alikuwa ameoa uh, mwanamke mkushi. This is what he said. Hivi anasema. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? Je, kwani Bwana huwa ananena kwa Musa peke yake? Kwani Mungu anaongeaga na bisho peke yake? Kwani Mungu anaongeaanga na Pastor Mwiti o na wengine? Are we together? Tuko pamoja. But listen, we are Skiza. going somewhere. Tunaenda mahali. Has the Lord spoken only through Moses? Je, kwani Mungu huwa anazungumza na Musa peke yake? They, they asked. Wakauliza. Hasn't he also spoken through us? Je, kwani pia haja tunenea pia sisi? Look at the next sentence. Angalia ambayo inafuata. What does it say? Inasema nini? Can we read together? Tusome pamoja. And the Lord na had this. Akasikia hii. And the Lord akasikia maneno haya. What has the Lord heard from you? Je, ni nini Mungu amesikia kutoka kwako? And if he has heard, na kama amesikia, what are the consequences? Matokeo ni yepi? Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> and the Bible says, Bila nasema, at once, hapo ghafla, the Lord said to Moses, Mungu akamwambia Musa, and Aaron, na Aruni, come out of the tent of meeting. Tukeni katika ahema la mkutano. All of you, nyinyi wote. So the three of them went out. Wote watatu wakatoka. And they were summoned when God had this. Mungu alisikia hii. He summoned Moses. Akaita Musa. He summoned Aaron. Akaita Aruni. And he summoned Miriam. Na akaita pia Mariam. He told them, "Get out from where you are." Akamwambia tokeni mali mko. Come to the where I am. Kuja mali niko. And they went to the tent of meeting. Wakaenda katika hema ya mkutano. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says nasema, the Lord spoke. Mungu akanena. And instantly, na hapo hapo, this is what happened. Hivi ndivyo ilifanyika. Verse 4. Mstari wa 4. Verse verse 10. Mstari wa 10. When the cloud lifted from above the tent, wakati wingu ulitoka juu ya hema, Miriam's skin was leprous. Uh, uh, mwili wa Miriam ulikuwa na ukoma. And she became white as snow. Na akakuwa mweupe kama theluji. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at this. Angalia hii. This is Miriam. Huni Miriam who is a gifted singer. Ambaye amepewa kipawa cha uimbaji. She was even older than Moses. Alikuwa pia mzee kidogo kwa Musa. With some few years. Na miaka michache. The scholars say others say seven others there's three. Wengine wanasema kama wasomi wanasema tatu ama saba. with the school of thought. Jarishi mali mtu amesoma. Hallelujah. Amen. But she was anointed singer. Alikuwa mwimbaji amepakwa. The Bible says. Bila nasema when they were coming from Egypt. Walipokuwa kutoka Misri. Passing through the Red Sea. Wakipitia bahari ya Shamu. I'm 
telling you nawambia Miriam led with songs of praise Miriam aliongoza na nyimbo za sifa until the heaven had to respond mpaka bingu zikajibu everybody in Israel kila mtu Israeli knew there was a great worship leader akajua kuna kiongozi wa kuibada mkuu hallelujah amen she was anointed by god alikuwa amepaka mafuta na mungu praise the name of the living god amen she was anointed alikuwa amepaka mafuta great servant of god mtumishi mkuu wa mungu a great woman of god mtumishi wa mkuu wa mungu she was gifted alipewa kipawa amen amen praise the name of the living god amen she was gifted alikuwa amepaka kipawa unfortunately lakini kwa gaf bad bad she dishonored moses alikosa kuheshimu musa She valued the gift. Alidhamini kipawa more than the anointing the anointing that was upon her life and also upon the servant of God. Zaidi ya upako ambao ilikuwa ndani yake na pia juu ya mtumishi wa Mungu. And the Bible says. Bili nasema. This is very serious. Hii ni muhimu sana. You have to look at this. Lazima uangalie hii. You can have a spirit of dishonor in the church. Unaweza kuwa roho ya kukosa heshima kanisani and it can make the church stagnate. Unaweza fanya kanisa ikwame. Remain in one place. Ibaki mahali pamoja because of you. Sababu yako. The Bible says, Bili nasema When Miriam became leprous, wakati Miriam alipata ukoma, Moses went before God. Musa akaenda mbele za Mungu and say Jehovah, akasema Yehova, forgive them. Wasamehe. Oh God. Eh Mungu. Forgive them. Wasamehe. God told Moses shut up. Mungu akamwambia Musa nyamaza. Take Miriam. Chukua Miriam. Let her go out of the camp. Wacha atoke katika kambi. She went out of the camp. Akaenda nje ya kambi. A great singer. Mwimbaji mkuu. A gifted man, a, a lady of God. Ambaye mpaka mafuta na Mungu. <laughs> Look at verse the next verse. Andika angalia mbona. That's verse 15. Msalo 15. Hallelujah. Amen. So Miriam was kept outside the camp for seven days. Musa akawa nje ya kambi kwa siku saba. This came so just because of prayer of Moses. Ilikuja tu kwa sababu ya ombi la Musa. Otherwise angekufia huko. Mm. Are we together? Kwa pamoja. But God wanted Miriam to be forgiven. Mungu alitaka Musa as But Mungu akasema waacha apate adabu. Mm. Because there are some consequences people suffer. Maana kuna matokeo watu hupata nayo because of what they have done kwa sababu ya kile wametenda and the bible says bila sema and the people waited na watu wakangoja are we together kwa pamoja how many thousands waited ni maelfu ngapi walingoja they were supposed to, to proceed on walipaswa kuendelea but the bible says bila sema Miriam confined uh, the bible says Miriam was kept outside the camp for seven days and waited until she was brought back na watu wakangoja mpaka akaletwa before they traveled again kabla waendelee na safari tena Oh God it is my prayer. Mungu ni ombi langu. If there is one Jehovah God. Kama kuna mtu Yehova hapa. That I might have sin. Ameweza kuwa ametenda dhambi. Forgive her oh God. Msamee Mungu. Probably my father want to thank you. Baba nakushukuru. There are families here. Kuna familia hapa. If there is one that dear love king of all glory. Kaka mungu mbango mkufu. Have sinned in their families. Ametenda katika familia zao. Oh God if there is anything. Kama kuna kitu chochote. Just Moses prayed. Kama vile Musa aliomba. It is my prayer. Ni ombi langu. That you may forgive them. Mkuu wasamee. The Lord they will move again. They will not stagnate again. Awatakwama tena. I stand in the gap. Nasimama katika mwanya. On their behalf. Kwa niaba yao. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We thank you Jehovah God. Kushukuru Jehovah Mungu. So don't allow. Usikubali. This honor hinder your progress. Kutokuwa na heshima izuie kuendelea kwako. In your life. Mashani mwako. In your family. Kwa familia yako. In your business. Kwa biashara yako. Or in any other area. Ama kila sehemu. So you have seen two people. Tumeona watu wawili. We don't have time to see more. Hatuna wakati wa kuona mengi. Because mehi. we have like Noah. Maana tuko na Nuhu. Who you know there is that uh, the, 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 the Ham who went to to his father. Ham ambaye alienda kwa baba yake and uh, dishonored his father na akakosa kuheshimu baba yake but we not have for time for that hatuna muda ya hiyo number 2 ya pili the importance of honor umuhimu wa kuwa na heshima the importance of honor umuhimu wa kuwa na heshima on uh, honor unlocks the door to progress heshima inafungua milango ya kuendelea amen amen honor Eshima unlocks the doors to progress. Ufungua milango ya kuendelea. What I want to say here. Kinataka kusema hapa. Honor is a conduit. 
Eshima ni kama mfereji that transfer graces ambaye inapeana neema and blessings na baraka that can push you am- to next level ambaye za kusukuma kuwa na kiwango kingine amen and amen amen i repeat again narudia tena and follow me carefully nifuate kwa makini because we are seeing two people here the na tunaona watu wawili hapa jesus lived a life of honor yesu aliishi maisha ya heshima and honor na heshima by the grace of god kwa neema ya mungu is a conduit ni kama mfereji that transfer graces and blessings of god ambayo inapera neema na baraka za mungu that also catapult you to where you are supposed to be ambayo inakusukuma kwa na mali unapaswa kuwa hallelujah amen Did you know je unajua that nothing happened nothing major like akuwa hakuna kitu kuu happened to the life of Jesus ambayo ilifanyika kwa maisha ya Yesu Kristo until he walked in the pathway of honor mpaka vile alitembea katika njia ya heshima amen amen so during Jesus Christ wakati wa Yesu Kristo he is born amezaliwa 12 years we see him in the church doing the work of god akifanya kazi ya mungu preaching the gospel akihubiri injili but he was just you know he was just learning alikuwa anasoma tu but so uh, until 30 years mpaka miaka 30 is when we hear, we hear jesus ni wakati tunasikia yesu and the heavens was closed na bingu zilikuwa zimefungwa hallelujah amen and the bible tells me bila niambia before jesus began his ministry kabla yesu aanza huduma yake before jesus went to the next level kabla yesu aende kwa kiongo kingine even before prayer hata kabla ya maombi he began with honor alianza na heshima in fact honor became a door to the next level heshima ikawa mlango kwa na kiwango kingine by the grace of god kwa neema ya mungu may you embrace honor wacha upokee heshima some of the doors are closed milango nyingine imefungwa some of your doors are closed milango nyingine yako imefungwa because of the spirit of or dis- Sa- of dishonor sababu ya roho ya kutokuwa na heshima the spirit of god is telling me roho wa mungu ananiambia from today kuanzia leo may the lord help you wacha mungu akusaidie don't see yourself usijione mwenyewe hallelujah amen see yourself as a child of god jione kama mwana wa mungu don't dishonor your boss usikose kuheshimu mkuu wako Don't dishonor your parents. Usikose kuheshimu wazazi wako. Don't dishonor your spiritual fathers. Usikose kuheshimu wazazi wako wa kiroho. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Listen to this. Sikiza hii. Nothing happened to Jesus life and ministry. Akwa kitu kilifanyika kwa maisha ya Yesu Kristo na huduma. Until he walked in the pathway of honor. Mpaka alipotembea katika njia za heshima. Matthew 3:13. Mathayo 3:13. Matthew 3:13. Mathayo mtakatifu 3:13. The Bible tells me. Bila niambia. Listen good. Sikiza vizuri. Then Jesus basi Yesu came to Galilee. Akaja Galilaya to John kwa Yohana. Yo, at, at Jordan to, sorry, to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. Akaja kwa Yohana pale Jordani ili abatizwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus would have started the ministry. Yesu akianza huduma. But he realized that. Aligundua hivi. God works in principles. Mungu utembea kwa kanuni. Hallelujah. Amen. And there was someone na kulikuwa na mtu in that jurisdiction katika ilo eneo that Jesus could not have bypassed. Ambao Yesu angepita. Are we together with me church? Tuko pamoja kanisa. So Jesus Christ, Yesu Kristo, though anointed, hata kama amepakwa mafuta, raised by God Ame papa mafuta. The Bible tells me. Bila niambia. He went to John the Baptist. Akaenda kwa Yohana Mbatizaji to be baptized by him. Abatizwe na yeye. Listen to what John is saying. Sikiza kile Yohana anasema. And verse 14. Mstari wa 14. And John tried to prevent him saying. Yohana akajaribu kumkataza akisema. I need to be baptized by you. Nahitaji kubatizwa na wewe. Why are you coming to me? Nawe mbona waja kwangu? Jesus answered and said Yesu akajibu akamwambia Permitted permitted to be so now Kubali hivi sasa For 
this is fitting for us kwa hivi ndivyo inapaswa to fulfill all righteousness kuweza kutimiza haki yote then he allowed him basi akamkubali hallelujah amen and then he did what akafanya nini he allowed him akamkubali because he was the person in authority maana alikuwa mtu katika mamlaka he recognized the authority alitambua mamlaka praise the name of the living god amen and therefore he went and he was baptized akaenda na kabatizo and the bible says bila nasema as he was being baptized the heaven opened bingu zikafunguka in other words kwa maana mengine if he had gone in a different way kama angeenda njia tofauti heaven would not have been opened bingu azingefunguka but the bible is telling me bila niambia that heaven opened kwa bingu zikafunguka he was praying alikuwa naomba he was being baptized alikuwa batizwa he leaned upon the grace aliishi katika neema of john the baptist ya yohana mbatizaji and that grace na hiyo neema was released ikaachiliwa and because of that grace sababu ya ile neema father opened heaven baba akafungua bingu and the voice spoke na sauti ikanena this is my beloved son uni muone nimpendaye hear in him msikie zenu amen amen praise the name of the living god amen hallelujah amen and the, the bible says nasema, the spirit of the lord came down roho wa mungu akashuka and led him into the wilderness to pray na akamwongoza kwa na jangwa kuomba so jesus walk, walked in the pathways of honor kwa vile yesu alitembea katika njia za heshima because he knew john was the authority at that very particular time maana yohana ndiye alikuwa mamlaka ile wakati hallelujah amen i want to tell you nataka kuambia honor heshima will accelerate you itakupandisha to levels and to do things na kufanya mambo in a shorter you know in a shorter time kwa muda mfupi than expected kuliko vile imetarajiwa imagine tafakari things that would have been done 30 or 50 years by people mama mama angefanyika miaka kama 50 na 30 ya watu jesus did it within 3 years yesu alifanya kwa miaka mitatu are we together tuko pamoja He did it with one we how many years? Alifanya miaka mingapi? 3 years. Miaka mitatu. It would have taken 30 years. Ingechukua miaka 30. It would have taken 50 years. Ingechukua miaka 50. Some are struggling. Wengi wanang'ang'ana. You are taking years. Unachukua miaka. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We break this spirit of dishonor. Tunavunja hilo ya kutokuwa heshima. That prevent acceleration. Ambayo inazuia kuendelea. People's life. Katika maisha ya watu. In the church. Katika kanisa. In our land. Maisha ni katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Let the Lord take over. Mwana Mungu achukulie. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I decree from today. Tutangaza kuanzia leo. The glory of God. Kwa tukufu wa Mungu. I pray that the spirit of honor. Naomba kwa roho ya heshima. Come back to your life. Takuja juu ya maisha yako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. This is where many people fail. Ambao watu wengi wanguka. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus went to went to the John the Baptist. Yesu akaenda kwa Yohana Mbatizaji. This is where many people are failing in the church. Ambao watu wengi wanguka kanisa. They want to bypass the anointed one. Wataka wapita mafuta ya watu mpaka wao. They are on. Na wafanye njia zao. They feel more anointed. Maana wanahisi wako na upako zaidi. I repeat again. Narudia tena. What people are doing? Kile watu wanafanya. They feel they are so much anointed. Wanahisi kuna upako mwingi. They feel they are better than the servant of God who is there. Wanahisi kuna upako zaidi kuliko wale pale. They forget. Na wanadhahau that you have to go through the anointing. Kwa lazima upitie upako. And when you pass through there, ukipitia pale, you even become better. Unakuwa nzuri zaidi. The one you ule ulidharau. Yeah, hallelujah. Are we together? Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Imagine John Tafakari Yohana disrespected John the Baptist. Angekosa kuheshimu And this is a principle my brother. Hii ni kanuni ndugu yangu. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a principle. Hii ni kanuni. I'll show you another example. Ndio mfano mwingine. Do you remember John the uh, you remember Paul? Unakumbuka Paulo? Mnakumbuka Paul? Mm. Paulo aliona Yesu. Yeah. Uso with Paul. his own eyes. Mm. In Acts chapter 9. Katika Matendo ya Mitume 9. Paul saw Jesus. Paul aliona Yesu. He was told, "Why are you persecuting me?" Akaambiwa, "Bora unatesa mimi." Hallelujah. Amen. Paul, Paul, why are you persecuting me? Paul, Paul, bora unatesa. And the Bible says, "Bila sema, he saw Jesus." Akaona Yesu. Because when you see God, maana ukiona Mungu, it is not easy. Sio rahisi. He had he became blind. Akawa kipofu. And God sent na Mungu akatuma an, 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 Ananias Anania who was the authority at that very particular time ambaye alikuwa mamlaka ile wakati Paul would not Paul would not have accelerated or gone to another level Paulo angeenda 
kiwango kingine until the hands were laid on him mpaka awekelewe mikono sometimes we bypass people to lay hands of you wakati tunapita watu wakiwa hands of you mikono. have great ministries wengine mko na huduma kuu i've raised the people in this church nimenua watu kanisani hii who have great ministries ambao kuna huduma kuu i have great 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 respect wa niko na heshima shangu seen a great and they were going very far walikuwa na mbali they are people i have seen kuna watu nimeona they were to go even beyond where i am today ana zaidi ya mali niko leo people have targeted kuna watu nimeangalia even some of them ana wengine wao hallelujah amen to be key leaders wakuwa kiongozi wa kuu in the ministry katika huduma watching over them wakiwa nikiangalia watching over them nikiangalia god making them mungu akiwatengeza god gracing them mungu akiwanemesha but some of them lakini wengine wao say that to 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 you wakaamua kupita na kutoka kutoka hallelujah amen Praise the, may the Lord forbid. Mungu azuie. If you are there. Kama uko pale. Even if you are anointed. Hata kama umepakwa mafuta. Some of you will preach. Wengine mnikihubiri. All over the world. Ulimwengu ni mzima. You'll go from one nation to the other. Ndio kutoka taifa moja ora nyingine. But you never bypass. Lakini hautapita. The anointed one because if you bypass. Ambao umepakwa lakini ukiwa pita What is happening? Nini nafanyika? You are discontinuing your anointing. Unazuia upako wako. You will either kill your anointing. Ni labda utaua upako wako. Or it will take longer. Ama na chukua muda mrefu. More than it would have taken. Zaidi ya muda ingechukua. To achieve what you wanted to achieve. Kupata kile ungepata. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So after Paul saw Jesus, Bana ya Paulo kumbona Yesu, he was given an assignment. Alipewa kazi. But I thank God. Nashukuru Mungu. He did the business. Alifanya biashara hiyo. After. Baadaye. By the grace of God. Kwa neema ya Mungu. He honored. Aliheshimu John the Baptist. Yohana mbatizaji. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. How to honor. Jinsi ya kuheshimu Let us stand. Tusimame. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Tusimame. We will continue from there. Tendelea kutoka hapo. Next Sunday. Jumapili ijayo. Bonasi sana. Amen. Some of the things are saying, ah. Minister ananiambia malizia. Bonasi sana. Amen. You are here. Uko hapa. And you realize. Na unagudua. In one or the other. Kwa njia moja ama nyingine. You have been walking in dishonor. Umekuwa ukitembea katika njia za kutokuwa na heshima. Next week we'll say Jumapili jao tutaona how to honor people jinsi ya kuheshimu watu and how to honor God na jinsi ya kuheshimu Mungu and also who do we honor na ni nani tunaheshimu I wanted to finish today but I see my time is gone Pazo kumaliza leo lakini ana muda umesonga You are listening on time or online Unasikiza mtandaoni I want to tell you my brother Nakwambia ndugu yangu I want to tell you my sister Nakwambia dada yangu There are people you have dishonored in your life Kuna watu umekosa kuheshimu maishani mwako There are people you have dishonored. Kuna watu umekosa kuheshimu. This is an opportunity. Hii ni nafasi. Let me come before God. Ukuje mbele za Mungu. And tell him Father, niambie Baba, forgive me. Nisamehe. Because there are levels you are supposed to have gone. Na kuna viwango ulipaswa kwenda. There are levels you are supposed to be. Kuna viwango ulipaswa kuwa. But because of the spirit of dishonor. Sababu ya roho ya kutokuwa na heshima. You have marked time for a long time. Umekwama kwa muda mrefu. Let us pray. Tuombe. Let's bow our hands and pray. Tunamisha vichwa vyetu tuombe. We thank you Father. Nakushukuru Baba. We give you praise. Nakupa usifa. We give you honor. Nakupa heshima. You have reminded us today. Umetukumbusha leo. About the dangers of dishonor. Kuhusu hatari za kutokuwa na heshima. How Miriam dishonored your servant. Ile Miriam alikosa alikuwa mtumishi wako. And she had to make time. Na akakuwa She could not proceed. Angeza kuendelea. The church in the wilderness could not proceed. Kanisa jangwani aligeendelea. Because the of the spirit of this honor. Sababu ile roho ya kutokuwa na heshima. Oh Lord, Eba. forgive us. Tusamehe. As a church. Kama kanisa. 
we have dishonored you tumekosa kukuheshimu in one way or the other kwa njia moja au nyingine it is my prayer hiyo milango and i stand in the gap nasimama katika mwanya for this church kwa kanisa for the ministry kwa huduma for those who are online kwa walio mtandaoni that oh god where we have failed kwa mali tumekuwa may you forgive us tusamehe may you cleanse us oh god takase mungu we may have dishonored even other men of god it is our prayer oh god that you may forgive us jehovah cleanse us oh god takase mungu with the blood of jesus that was shed on calvary oh god emu uiona you na kwa shimo you are there uko pale and you are saying na unasema servant of god tumishi wa mungu in the mood of prayer katika hiyo hali ya maombi pray with me omba nami if you realize kama umegundua there is an area kuna sehemu you have not probably honored god ambao hujamheshimu mungu You may not have honored your parents. Naroje shimo wazazi wako. Probably even the spiritual father. Naroje wazazi wa kiroho. The pastors. Wachungaji. Even your boss. Hata wakuu wako. In the place of work. Na unafanya kazi. I feel you are there. Na usiko pale. If you are there just raise up your hand. Kama uko pale inua mkono wako. We will pray together with you. Tutaomba pamoja na wewe. In the name of Jesus. You are there you need prayer. In that place. Katika yose. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you. For the people who are raising up their hands. Watu ambao wameinua mikono yao. My prayer is oh God. Mbilangu e Mungu ni. That you may forgive them. Wasamehe. May you cleanse them Jehovah. Watakase Jehovah. Lord, as I said, I stand in the God. Nasimama nasimama katika mwanya. Jehovah interceding for them. Nikiwaombea Jehovah. The Lord if there is an area we have dishonored you oh God. Kama unasema tumekosa kuheshimu wewe Mungu. Dishonored our families. Kama kuheshimu familia zetu. Dishonored our leaders. Kama kuheshimu viongozi wetu. May you forgive us and cleanse us. Tuzame utakase. From all unrighteousness. Toka kutokuwa na haki yake. It is my prayer oh God. Ni ombi langu e that your people will be set free. Watu wako watakuwa huru. As we continue with this message in the name of Jesus. Father it is my prayer. Baba ni ombi langu that you may help us. Walk in the pathways of honor. To the glory of your holy name. In Jesus name we pray. Can you say amen? Amen. Can we appreciate the Lord of Lord? Can we appreciate the Lord of Lord? Can we appreciate the King of Kings? Can we appreciate the Lord of Lord? Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Did you get something? I know you are blessed. It is a time to give unto the Lord. Let's appreciate the Lord. It's a time to honor God. With our offerings. Na sadaka zetu. With our tithes. Na fungu letu la. With our fast fruits. Na tunda letu la kwanza. And God will be glorified. Na Mungu anatukuzwa. If you are online, kama uko mtandaoni, there is a number there. Kuna nambari pale. On your screen. Kwa kioo chako. There is a pay bill. Kuna or probably the Mpesa number. Ama namba ya Mpesa. You can send your tithe. Tafungu la 10 hapo. You can send your ministry partner. Natuma ya kujiunganisha kiudumu. You can send your any kind of offering as the spirit of the Lord will lead you. Natuma haina yote ya matoleo vile Mungu atakuwa. God bless you even as you prepare to give. Mungu akubariki unapojiandaa kutoa. For those who are here in case you need an envelope just raise up your hand. Kwa leo hapa kama unahitaji bahasha inua mkono. You get an envelope. Tapata bahasha. So that you can pay your tithe. Nilipe fungu la 10. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Oh God, we thank you. Baba tunakushukuru. We give you praise and glory. Sifa na Jesus name. Let us pray. Chatuambe. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you. Baba mimi natakushukuru for the dear ones that are online. Thank you Father because they have given. Asante bwana umetoa. And even for those who are preparing to give. Bwana unataka kutoa pia. May you remember them. Wakumbuke. There are people who are prepared to give their offerings. Bwana unataka kutoa fungu la 10. In the church of God. Asante Mungu. They are tithe. Fungu la 10. They are even the first fruits. Anatunda la kwanza. The ministry partner. Unganisha kiutu. Or any other kind of offering. Mama inayote ya matoleo. My prayer is. Mpilango ni. That you may bless them. Uwabariki. Receive this gift of God. And as your servant, I receive them. Oh God, with thanksgiving. 
Amen. 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 Amen.